Results for Monday being recorded a little early. The time now is uh, 2.34 Eastern, so we're still about an hour and a half out from close. Uh, but it's been a relatively exciting day. Uh, we, as, uh, as you know, our target uh, price from this morning, um, we were looking at, uh, it, it appeared that we were gonna be trying to push higher, um, but we failed to get into the range that I was targeting, uh, the 4520 to 4550. Uh, we basically toyed with the 45 level, as you can see here on uh, Daily FX. Uh, basically we, we broke through momentarily but really had no traction just not enough buying pressure to get through that level and I simply wasn't interested in uh, in holding a short this low yet uh, for the time being um, you know I think 44 ish is our floor and I don't like being short um, with that small a margin above our, our floor at least what appears to be our floor for now um, as you can see, we've dropped to uh, almost 44. We went as low as 44.05 today. Um, that was just a few minutes ago. And right now we're sitting at 44.22 on the spot price. Um, and as you know from this morning, we're looking at buying long at around 44, which of course uh, we could have done already. Um, I would be you know, reasonably content with that. Um, but uh, prior to this drop, I had already entered in my order for 44 even because I suspected that we might crack through and having a look at the uh, kind of longer term chart here I can try to bring that up for you guys uh, let's take a look at the three hour chart let's try that again three hour chart uh, let's try four hour chart let's go one day so this is the bar from May 5th, where we uh, dropped in overnight trading. Not this said uh, this drop to 43.70 um, did not happen during North American trading, but it at least gives us an idea of what lows we might try to reach, and that at least tells me that falling bef below 44 is perfectly within the scope of possibility. So what I've done is I've entered our order for 43.90 ish um, on the ETF prices. So I, I think that we will crack. Right now we've bounced up. So let me flip back to the 15 minute chart here. As you can see, we've had a, a pretty dramatic bounce up of about 20 cents. Um, and now we're starting to drift downward again. And I do think that we're going to revisit these lows. And I think we're going to make an attempt at 44 at cracking it. Um, so basically my, my buy order is in right now for just under 44. I'm going to leave it there uh, because I think that the next hour between 2.30 and 3.30 is going to uh, demonstrate some downward pressure. Um, if we don't make that level today, then I'm just going to wait until tomorrow and I'm not going to buy because I think that uh, Tuesday overnight, I think we might make lower um, numbers. If not, then morning might give us those numbers. In any case, I'm not in any hurry to get into this uh, long position here. As you know, we are still holding longs. So ultimately, I think this is going up and we're basically just retesting some lower limits here. So that's where we stand. Um, no, nothing particularly new to say other than let's see what happens the next hour. And I'll let you guys know how uh, my order did when I follow up with you guys tomorrow morning. And uh, to all of you out there, good luck and uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned. Use the comments down below on YouTube or over on uh, tradingjournal.ca and uh, see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.